Can I buy a house in California with no money down? Yeah, you can. So today we're going to be talking about California down payment assistance for first time home buyers. So very important, this video only applies to California, okay? So if you're in another state, don't worry, we're going to look at some down payment assistance programs for you as well, but we're going to start with California because California actually does have a very good assistance program called CalHFA. So it is a very complicated program in that there are a myriad of options. There's so many different ways to look at that program and you could argue out like, uh, is there any point to the VA program? I don't think so, okay? There's parts of this down payment assistance program that don't make sense to me. However, there are parts that do and that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about the basic requirements, we're gonna talk about what you can accomplish with it and how it might fit into your picture of buying a house. Now, I want to be really, really clear. If you guys have money to put down, using your own money is always going to result in a better rate and lower fees. Period. Better rate and lower fees if you are doing your own down payment. Okay? Now, let's talk about this program. So, here's what you can do. You can basically buy a house in California up to 726,200. That's the new basic loan limit, right? So you can go up to 726,200 with no money down and finance your closing costs. Yeah, seriously, seriously. So what's happening is there's a couple different programs being combined. So as a first time home buyer, and you do need to be a first time home buyer, which means you haven't owned a property that you live in for at least three years, okay? Let me say that again. Now, if someone's gonna go, well, I haven't, but we live in a house my husband owns. Guys, <laughs> no, no, there's no little tricks with this one. This is for first time home buyers or people who have not owned a home that they live in for the last three years. Cannot stress that enough, okay? So what's happening is for first time home buyers, there's a conventional 3% down program. Now what this loan is doing is it's giving you the 3%. And by giving, do I mean like a gift? No, not, no guys, it's a silent second at 1% simple interest. So what that means is that when your loan closes, okay, you're gonna have your first loan, which is gonna be 97% of the home value. Let's do easy math, okay? So if you buy a house for $100,000, your first loan is gonna be 97,000, and you're gonna have a second loan. Yes, the second loan is for that 3%. So if it's a $100,000 loan, excuse me, purchase, that is $3,000. So you're going to have a first and a second. Okay. Okay. You're, you're staying with me so far. Okay. So why wouldn't you want to do that? Well, I mean, look, if you have the 3% on your own, you know, you're going to get a better rate and lower fees if you use your own money. I can't stress that enough. Now, is this program as expensive as some of, of the other ones I've seen across the country? No, this is one where like I could actually do this loan for you and sleep at night, which is not something I can say about most down payment assistance programs. And you know, there is a real issue in California with being able to save because the rent is so expensive. You know, it's it's tough to get ahead when your rent's $3,000 a month. It's just challenging, okay? And I'm, I know there's someone from another state watching this going, well, live in a thousand, guys, it doesn't exist. It's very hard to find, okay? So, great for that. So I love this as a concept of, you know, maybe you have a couple thousand dollars saved or maybe your rent is going to be the same as a mortgage payment and you really want to get into home ownership. I think this is a great program for that. You know, the second that $3,000, it's not like they're charging you a high interest rate. It's 1% simple interest, which is very low. Now, when does that get paid off? Okay, this is important. Now, if you are gonna ever refinance this house, both the first and the second get combined and paid off, okay? If you sell the house, you're gonna have to sell and pay off the first and the second. Now, is this a great program for if you're gonna live in the house for a year? With any low down payment or down payment assistance program, it can be really hard to get out of those houses in a short period of time because you may not have built enough equity to get out. 
okay? That's a negative. But if you're like, Jen, I need a house. I'm gonna live there for like five, 10 years. Cool, great. This is a wonderful program. And what's nice about it is they actually have an additional program that can be put on top, right? So you've, they're gonna give you the 3% and by give, lend, right? They're gonna lend you the 3% down payment and they'll lend you the closing costs. Now the closing costs, they will actually lend to you at 0% interest um, as yet another loan. I know, I know, you're gonna have a lot of loans, but this is a way to get into California property with no money down, okay? And that's what you guys need to remember. This is a no money down program. Now, realistically, I would prefer, you know, I would be trying to structure this so that we're getting the 3% second, right? That's what it is. I'm going to stop saying giving because it's not a gift. We're going to use the 3% second so you're not having to bring in a down payment. I would rather we get the seller to pay the closing costs, okay? And we're in a market right now where you can do some negotiating, so that would be my tactic. Worst case, then we add on um, the third, right? Okay? So, credit scores, very important. For the conventional program, it goes as low as 660, but really, I think you're gonna need that 680 credit score. And you're gonna need it for a multitude of reasons. Um, there are income limits on this program, very important. However, they're pretty high. I was looking at it, uh, San Francisco, this, this just tells you how crazy our housing is here. San Francisco, you have to make under, are you guys ready for this? $300,000, mm-hmm, yep. $300,000. Um, LA was 180,000. Sonoma County was 232. Uh, they're all different. There is a chart and I'll have a link to it for you guys to check, but you do need to be under the income limit. And if you're like, well, I made more than that last year, but I'm going to make less this year. No guys, they're going to be looking at a two year history. So it's really important to note that. Now I did used to do these loans back in the day and I stopped. One of the reasons I stopped is because back in the day you used to have to include all household income, even people not on the loan. That is a nightmare, okay? <laughs> it is a nightmare because you're like, hey, you're 16 year old, how much is he making as a barista? Like, it can get really in the weeds and it can lead to a lot of people upset, which is why I stopped doing it. They've removed that guideline. So now it's just gonna be the person on the loan uh, whose income's being considered for that income limit. Very important to note. Now, if you're like, okay, well my husband's not gonna be on the loan, but I want him on title, no. The only way you can have someone else on title to this house is if you, Okay, if you and them are on the loan, period. Well, and if you're like, well, I don't really qualify, but what if my dad is a non-occupant co-borrower? No, okay, there's no non-occupant co-borrowers. This is a first-time home buyer program. They're trying to get people into homes that they themselves can afford to live in for the long term. That is the goal of this program, okay? Um, really, you're gonna to wanna to get into in touch with us on this if you guys have questions or you wanna get qualified for it. So, you know, my number, all my contact information's always there. Sandy on my team uh, specializes in this. She'll be going through it with you. Maria, my processor, she's been doing these since 1970. Like, who knows, it's been a long time. However long this program's been around, Maria's been doing them. So, I've got some really good resources for you guys. Now, First time home buyer education. This does require that, okay? And there is a fee for that. It's not something guaranteed rate charges. It's not something I charge. It is something that the program charges. It's $99. So I really wanna be transparent going in that guys, if we're looking at this and it's looking like you qualify and it's looking good, you do have to take and complete that home buyer education, which was saying it's eight hours. So it is no joke. <laughs> it is a commitment. But here's the thing, if you're buying a house, you should learn some stuff, right? You're already on this channel. Who knows how many of my videos you've watched? You should learn some stuff. So I don't think that's a bad thing. So overall credit score, I would say 680 plus. I think the 660, 660 is the lowest, but I think that's gonna be a tougher bucket. Um, so 680 plus, and then you also, debt to income needs to be under 45, 
okay? Once again, in certain circumstances, you can push up to 50, but it's gonna be certain circumstances, so I don't wanna give you guys that illusion. Um, you do not need to have money down, okay? The only time you need money down is if you go over the 726,200. There's certain parts of California, like San Francisco, where the loan limit's in the million, right? It's like over a million dollars is the loan limit. In that situation, you can still utilize this program, but you would have to have 2% down, okay? But once again, oh my God, getting into like a $900,000 house in California with 2% down, that's pretty wild, right? So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this program. And if it's going to put you in a better financial position, it's great. If it's going to triple your payment and you guys have no savings, this can be a very dangerous program, okay? And we'll talk about all that. We'll talk about debt to income. We'll talk about payment shock. You know, that's the thing about myself and my team is we go through all of this because the last thing I want you guys to be is house poor, okay? So overall, I like this program. I can see where it fits. I can sleep at night offering it to you, which is not what I say about most down payment assistance programs, which is why we've never talked about them on this channel. But I think as we move more towards the buyer's market, I think you guys will be able to utilize this program and it will help get you on the property ladder in California which has turned out to be very profitable for quite a few people. So as always, questions, comments. This is a California only program. Please reach out. My team and I are happy to help you with these, walk you through the steps, make sure that you're fully educated and empowered when you buy so that your house is a benefit and not a burden. Thanks for watching guys.